Transportation and Communication In this module, you will learn about transport systems, namely roadways, railways, waterways, airways, pipelines and communication. Let us discuss each of these points in detail. Transportation means movement of people, animals and goods from one place to another. A good transportation system results in economic growth of a region that makes optimum use of resources and manpower through movement and exchange. The different modes of transport include roadways, railways, waterways, airways and pipelines. Roads are the most important and commonly used modes of transportation in the world. There is a close relationship between road density and population density. Road density refers to the ratio between total length of roads in a country to its total land area. Population density refers to the ratio between the total number of people in a country to its total land area. The larger the connectivity of roads in a country, the better is its economic growth. Roadways are classified into three categories, namely transcontinental highways, national highways and local roads. Transcontinental highways are very long roads connecting continents from end to end. For example, the Trans-Canadian Highway, the Alaskan Highway, the Pan-American Express Highway, and the Australian Transcontinental Highway. National highways are developed because of increasing speed and number of road vehicles. National highways are straight roads cutting across the country through bridges and tunnels to cut down travel time. The Autobahn was the first modern freeway or broad highway set up in Germany. In India, roadways are divided into three categories, namely national highways, state highways and district roads. The historical Grand Trunk Road, presently known as NH1, in North India connects Sonar Gaon in Bangladesh with Peshawar in Pakistan. NH7 is the longest highway in India. It connects Varanasi to Kanya Kumari. In India, the road network density is high in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. Railways are considered as the cheapest and fastest modes of transport for carrying bulky goods over long distances. The densest railway network is found in the highly developed industrialized regions of Europe and East Central North America. Japan, India, Southeastern Australia and coastal Argentina have a moderately dense railway network. A transcontinental railway is a contiguous network of railroad that crosses a continental landmass with terminals at different oceans or continental borders. The following table provides information on the various transcontinental railways across the world. 1. Trans-Siberian Railway 2. Trans-Canadian Railway 3. Trans-Andean Railway and 4. Trans-Asian Railway Indian Railways is the second largest railway network in Asia and the fourth largest in the world. Indian Railways is the densest in the Gangetic Plains of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. Indian Railways employs 
the largest workforce in world. In India, metropolitan cities, intra-city rail lines are developed to ease the growing traffic congestion. These rail lines are either underground rail lines or elevated above the ground. The MRTS or Mass Rapid Transit System is an elevated line of the suburban railway in Chennai and Tamil Nadu. The line currently runs from Chennai Beach or Madras Beach to Vela Cherry, covering a distance of 25 km with 17 stations. MRTS is operated by the government-owned Southern Railways or SR. Waterways are the cheapest modes of transport. Waterways are divided into two types, inland waterways and ocean transport. Inland waterways refers to deep navigable rivers with the perennial flow of water and navigation canals. The major inland waterways are situated in industrialized countries of Europe, Rhine, Rhone, Danube and Elbe rivers, North America and Canada, the Great Lakes. Waterways and railways in combination help wider movement of goods at lower cost in the industrial areas. In India, inland waterways are found at Brahmaputra in Assam and Ganges in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Buckingham Canal was a major waterway in Tamil Nadu from Nellore to Marakkanam, but now it is a polluted channel. Ocean routes are important for intercontinental travel. Ocean routes are used for transporting bulky cargo. The following table provides information on the major shipping routes of the world. 1. The North Atlantic Route 2. The Cape of Good Hope Route 3. The Panama Canal Route 4. The Trans-Pacific Route India's ocean transport is surrounded by the Bay of Bengal in the east, by the Arabian Sea in the west, and by the Indian Ocean in the south. Major ports are Kolkata, Paradeep, Vishakapatnam, Chennai, Tutikorin, Cochin, Mangalore, Marmagao, Mumbai and Kandla. Airways are the speediest and costliest way of transport which carry passenger, freight and postal service. Air travel has earned huge popularity as it saves time and also reduces tiredness involved in covering long distance. Commercial airlines are now connected to all major regions of the world. Pipelines are an economical way of transporting commodities like oil and natural gas. The oil pipelines are privately owned by oil companies. Pipelines are used to transport a large amount of the world's crude oil from oil fields to the refineries or shipping terminal. The major pipelines are shown in the following table. 1. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline System or TAPS 2. Trans-Arabian Pipeline or TAP line, now defunct. Communication is a means of conveying information through words and messages. Communication is divided into two types, personal communication and mass communication. Personal communication includes sharing of information and ideas between two people. Various inventions of communication are mentioned in the following table. Mass communication includes 
all those media designed to reach a large audience. Mass communication is divided into two types. Print media consisting of books, magazines, newspaper and electronic media consisting of radio, television and internet. Satellite has played a vital role in communication both in India and the world. In recent years, communication has revolutionized in India due to the Indian National Satellite or INSAT. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on transportation and communication.